I'm Ray Bayliss, I'm Catholic Chaplain and Chaplaincy Team Coordinator. On behalf of the Chaplaincy Team, I'd like to welcome you to this beautiful place and to this wonderful university. It's a university with a unique heritage and a great commitment to community. And one of the ways in which that commitment is expressed is through its support, its support of students and of staff. And one of the ways in which that support is given is through chaplaincy. Now chaplaincy is affiliated to student services which is based here in the Rathbone building. In chaplaincy we provide pastoral support for the students and staff of the university. So what is chaplaincy? Well I'll let some of our members of the multi-faith chaplaincy team and some of our students and staff tell you some more. The chaplaincy team members represent different faith traditions, a variety of Christian denominations and other faiths too. We are officially recognised by the university and we work individually and together. To listen, to pray with you and for you to discuss matters of life and faith with you, to answer questions or do our best to help you find an answer. To accompany you if you're having a tough time, to help and advise the university, to organise a number of specific events during the year and some of us to offer spiritual guidance or mentoring. Members of the team do, of course, also take an active role in working with, developing and supporting a faith community within our own tradition. We do this in a variety of ways. However, we are each here for all students and staff, whether they have a faith or not. We are non-judgmental in our approach. We won't proselytize or seek to convert you and will happily help you to find an alternative church, place or community of worship, if that's possible. In normal times, chaplaincy is very much about meeting people face to face. It's about hospitality. There's usually food involved in chaplaincy events. It's about encouraging opportunities for friendship, discussion and the sharing of ideas. It's also about openness, being available and building community. Obviously though, these are not normal times and owing to the impact of coronavirus, chaplaincy has had to adapt like the rest of university life. This means that much of what we do will, at least in the short term, continue to be delivered online rather than in person. This video itself is being made primarily because we can't meet you face to face as we would normally. But we are here for you. We do want to get to know you. And for those of a particular faith, we do want to help you to get to know and share in community with others from your own faith, as well as sharing in the community life of the university. We are all available to contact and chat to. We all have Bangor University email addresses and our contact details are available on the cha Chaplaincy and Faith pages of the Student Services website. There'll be a link at the end of this video. Most of us are available also to video chat with using Microsoft Teams and as a team we have become far more adept at using a variety of apps for bringing people together online. The university does have two rooms which in normal times are available for faith-based activities including Muslim prayers. These can be found in the annex to the Rathbone building. However, as the situation is very uncertain at the moment, please check the chaplaincy and faith pages on the student services website for the up-to-date information on their availability. So, having heard
had a formal introduction to the chaplaincy from the chaplaincy team, let's hear from some of our students and staff about what chaplaincy means to them. The Catholic chaplaincy has allowed me to meet new people who have the same faith as me and allow me to talk openly about my faith. Ways in which the chaplaincy has been valuable to me is that I've been able to make a lot of friends within the faith and to be a part of a community of warm-hearted people who put their faith in Christ. To me, I think chaplaincy offers an opportunity to uh, experience mentorship, to engage with a person of faith in questions or concerns you might have and know that they've probably uh, heard those questions or concerns before and to enter into uh, an opportunity for relationship with that person and a deepening of your understanding of your faith. Hi everybody at the Chaplaincy. I want to thank you for being available for us on the campus or on Teams to support us uh, guide us and, and pray for us as Banger staff. I really appreciate your help uh, to help me be a better member of staff and a better colleague. Thanks again. Bye.